everybody. It's getting close to summertime and I thought I'd show you something that is very useful. And that is a bike mount for this 1998 Ford Explorer. Believe it or not, it significantly increases the value of this vehicle. Now I don't have to rely on gasoline to uh, regulate the value of this car. <laughs> Okay, that's a little bit of a joke. I've got a low mileage 1998 Ford Explorer that I've been keeping in pristine condition so that uh, I can use it for these types of outings. So let me show you a little bit about this. Uh, this Ford Explorer back in time had a trailer hitch that uh, hooks up directly to the bumper. However, I got a Reese tow power uh, kit that attaches directly to this vehicle based on your model and year, you can look up the trailer hitch and it allows you to add this on there. Um, my advice if you get one of these is to use a, um, a lift, a car lift, to raise the trailer hitch. It makes it a lot easier to put it into the vehicle so you don't have to bear all the weight. In the middle of that little red thing there, that's a stabilizer for this bike mount. It keeps it from wiggling around. And inside of my car, I have the various wrenches that are required for those bolts there so that you don't have to go somewhere and you need to take it off and suddenly without a wrench. Uh, the car here also had a light kit, so I found it and connected it. And then I got this at you know, just an auto parts store. And what this does is it lights up my uh, uh, license plate holder, which I'll show you in a little bit. So over here, there's uh, a couple positions for the bike holder. You have this position, which is obviously horizontal for how the bicycle is currently set up. You can pull this latch, you know, take this pin out of here and raise it this way. And so now you're vertical and the bicycle mount is out of the way. So that's nice to do that if you're parking somewhere and you're giving people a little bit of space. Hopefully they don't take it when you're um, coming back or you have to move the car to put your bike on there, but that's okay. And then down here, you can pull this out and latch it down to this position, which allows you to open the lift back without uh, bumping into your bikes. So that's really nice in case you forget something. Let me get this kickstand out of the way. All right, so that's a little bit on the um, trailer hitch portion. Let me show you on the bicycle uh, mount itself. So. Uh, you have back tire and front tire which are connected you have this piece right back here for the back tire which is movable and you got a strap in there which is really nice and then over here for the front tire there's an area where you can put in a strap so anyways uh here's the uh the kit i got a, an electric bicycle on here and it holds it you can put two of them on there uh, unfortunately, it will not hold my recumbent, but that's okay. I'll put the recumbent on the inside since it has a fairing, which is like a wind sail. And then for a little bit of risk abatement, I have two bungee cords, which are utilized to just minimize any shaking and ease my mind a little bit. They're not totally necessary. This mount right here, this bar, holds onto a strong part of the bike and definitely keeps the movement down to an absolute minimum. The other part here is that uh, if you're riding, you notice that the license plate is not visible. And the reason for that is the bicycle's in the way. So to keep it legal, I mounted my license plate over here. I have magnets on the license plate and a light. That's why I have the wiring there. And this uh, keeps me legal. Now, when I raise this into the upward position while I'm driving around without the bicycle, the magnets will mount on the bottom part of here so that when this is raised up, the license plate is visible. The other part of this is if I choose to take the receiver or the bicycle mount off of the receiver, I can put the license plate somewhere on the car and just uh, keep it visible and with the light, of course. So that's, uh, that's it in a bit. Uh, just wanted to show you. Uh, really nice I'm happy to have this this is my second summer so I've got the electric bike the Reese tote power kit and this bicycle uh, mounting kit which work wonderfully nice to be able to get out and then of course the license plate holder and as I was joking before I really am serious this car has 
under 200,000 miles on it and I am uh, keeping the engine in great condition. I spend very little to keep it up and functional and maintained very well rather than having to spend a lot on car payments. And the reason why I keep this vehicle is strictly for this type of recreational activity. And it's not really a target for theft. Yep. All right. So anyways, thanks a lot. And use the comments below if you wish to have any questions answered on this uh, particular kit. Thanks a lot. Take care. Thank you.